What is up YouTube? I am back with another video and today we're going to be talking about Ethereum Classic and my P10690 rig. So my P10690 rig has been mining Ravencoin, doing it very well, but since the huge increase in Ethereum Classic, it made it more profitable to mine Ethereum Classic with it than Ravencoin. Uh, Ravencoin is still hovering around 22 cents per coin, which still is not bad and it's still very profitable. Uh, but Ethereum Classic right now, at the last time I checked, is $43 per coin. So in this video, I'm going to show you my overclock settings, my hash rates. Uh, I did have an overclock setting that wasn't stable, so I had to dial it back on my P106s. Uh, I had it a little more aggressive than I had it before when it was, when it was mining on the uh, blockchain. But today I dialed it back a little bit, and it should be stable now, so I'll show you the why I switch and the profitability difference just by switching what coin I'm mining. Uh, like I said, I was mining Ravencoin, now be do, um, it's mining Ethereum Classic. So let's go inside the computer and I'll show you it in Hive OS. And we'll go into what to mine and I'll show you the profitability of both coins. And we'll do a quick calculation on the calculator of the difference in price per day. But I can tell you right now, these cards are making over $1 a day in revenue which is crazy for a GPU that I bought for $32 on eBay back before it was able to mine on Ethereum Classic. It was before they lowered their DAG size. Uh, so these cards were really cheap to buy. People were practically giving them away. So I picked a few up, but let's go in, check it out, and I'll show you guys some profitability. So here's my rig currently. Uh, I did have to up the power a little bit, which we will take into uh, consideration when I'm looking at my profitability. Uh, but this is where it's at right now. And I'm getting roughly 21 mega hash per card. Now I had to set memory plus 800 and it crashed overnight on me. So I did dial it back. You can see a big gap in uh, it mining. Now, the area is also getting hotter, so with the summer months coming, I have to keep that in consideration also with my overclocks. I may have to dial a few more back on my other rigs, but time will tell with that. So, we can log in and remote into this real quick. Oh, I can type. So if we're in this, we just type in miner and now we're in the miner. Now it is on Phoenix miner right now. I do plan on making a new flight sheet and putting this on T-Rex most likely. Uh, but right now it's getting accepted shares. You see, we're getting 21 mega hash a second. Now we are sitting at 445 Watts. Uh, and I'm rounding up a little bit on the actual rig with all the cards. Uh, that's not including uh, motherboard power. That's just the GPUs here. So if we look at what to mine, it's saying 40, just under $41 per coin for Ethereum Classic. Earlier today when I was looking at it, it was uh, over that, it was at 43. And even earlier, uh, it was higher than that. I mean, even if we look at Binance, you can see uh, it's trading for about 40 for ETC. So I'm pretty sure we're on ETC now, but this is like the chart, as you can see, the graph and growth of ETC in the past few days. So right now, yeah, it's just under $41. So if we calculate this, I'm still looking at, like I said, over a dollar a day per GPU. Now, Ravencoin's down here at almost a dollar a day at 22 cents now raven queen has been very profitable for me for this rig and the rigs paid itself off a few like over and over again with just mining because i got a, the card so cheap at the time but if we open up my calculator and we'll just do i'm just going to do the uh, profit portions because of that power difference so if i look at you know 654 and I subtract the 481 that I would make with Raven. I'm looking at $1.73 a day. So weekly, I'm looking at like a little over $12 a day. And that's if uh, Raven coin stays at $0.22. Cents. If it goes up, I'll have to reevaluate this decision. Um, but if this stays higher than $40 as far as Ethereum Classic, 
then I plan on just leaving it on Ethereum Classic. Now, I don't know if I'm going to hold my Ethereum Classic, my Raven coin. I usually don't hold it for too long. I look at different coins to trade it for, uh, but I I do that every once in a while. I don't just get my Raven coin and trade it out right away. Usually, I wait till I have a good amount. Uh, but that is my profitability difference per week. It's a little over twelve dollars. But I am going to leave it on Ethereum Classic just for a little bit, uh, at least for the week, and see how it goes. I know it's on Hive's network, so if we go into my farm here, I get the payout and everything. Now, I do still have my one GPU on Ravencoin. I have not benchmarked my 1050 Ti on Ethereum Classic yet. I might do that. Maybe save that for another video. Go in and create a different flight sheet and get that on Ethereum Classic to see how it does. Uh, but I'll save that for a different video. But right now, that is where I'm at with my P10690 rig. So there you have it. That's my profitability for my P10690 rig. Uh, just switching it to Ethereum Classic made just that much more profitable. Looking at $1.70 more per day. Uh, that's pretty big, especially since I had to up the power on it. I will tweak those numbers a little bit more as it stays stable. I might try and get the power down just slightly more. I uh, see maybe I can get it to 60 or 70 watts per GPU, uh, but still 21 mega hash at roughly 75 watts, not too terrible, uh, especially for a three gigabyte card. Now I know the DAG file size for Ethereum Classic will be rising uh, relatively soon also. So I will have to keep that in mind. It won't hurt the rig for now, but I'll probably only get maybe another year if I'm lucky mining Ethereum and probably even Ravencoin with this rig and then after that, I have to decide what I want to do with it if I want to try and sell the cards or mine some other coin that has a lower uh, DAG size uh, but right now I'm making a good amount of money per day uh, I don't regret buying these cards when I did the only thing I do really regret is not buying more of them at the time because I could have been running a lot more in my mining farm and making a good amount of money I could have been making a lot more either Raven coin or Ethereum Classic. In this case, Ethereum Classic. But I like to see what you guys are doing with your three and four gigabyte cards. If you're still mining Raven coin, if you guys switch to Ethereum Classic, or maybe some of you guys never switched off Ethereum Classic and were holding the coin, and now you're looking at the price saying it's time to sell. Um, but you know, write in the comments below. Let me know what you're doing, or maybe if there's other overclock settings I can try on these P10690s. These are Zotac ones uh, with Samsung memory, so. I know that they're pretty decent cards. I know they're single fans, so the cooling isn't optimal, but it's not too bad. So, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.